Hello friends, welcome to my channel IT Career. So in your last lecture, we have discussed about the architecture of SSP application server. We, have, we learned what are uh, ASCS instance, means above central service instance. We learned PaaS, PS, primary application server. We learned additional application server. We learned about work processes like different types of work processes like dialog, background, um, NQ, gateway, <coughs> update, right? All those things we have learned. So this is the blackboard we have used and now it is a little bit messy because we have done a lot of things. So I'll do a quick recap today <coughs> what we learned in our last lecture and then we'll go from there and we'll start uh, uh, what are the architecture of the um, path, directed path of the SAP application. And in the next lecture, I'll start installation. I'll show you how, how to install SAP system. So in our last lecture, we discussed that we have a front end, right? This is uh, SAP GUI. <coughs> this is just a mm, quick recap. Then your server, ap application server is always in the, and the, this, this, will, this will be desktop, right? Or laptop, this always. And this is your server. And some type of server is are called a, a application server, right? Where you process your <coughs> logic and you have underlying that database. Okay, and now in application server, we divide into three kinds of one is ASCS, ASCS, uh, which is ABAP central service instance. Uh, if you want to know more about it, uh, just um, watch my earlier video, last video. And we have primary PS, primary application server, and we have a uh, additional um, additional application server, which is which is um, uh, optional. Okay, if you need more addition server, you, you can have n number of additional application server to balance the load between your application server. And this is where your message server and your gateway. <coughs> oh no, sorry, your NQ. Okay, your N NQ. What is NQ and my server? Everything I mentioned in my last lecture. So this is just a quick recap. And under each each uh, I mean application server like uh, primary application server, additional application server, we have we have a dispatcher. Okay, dispatcher. We have dispatcher. And <coughs> when any request comes from SAP GUI, it comes to it goes through message server actually. And then message server distribute the load to uh, different uh, application server. And in the application server, dispatcher take care of that uh, that request. And then uh, based on that, uh, it will uh, it will distribute the load like dialog work process. Okay, there might be could be multiple dialog work processes. Then gradually we have other um, background work process. We have NQ. Okay, we have um, spool. Everything I mentioned in my last video, what are all these, you know, work processes, okay? We have update. If you want to update, uh, do any update operation in the database, you use update. NQ is for lock mechanism. Spool is for your printing things and all. And dialog is your, uh, the dialog, I mean, the your screen you are accessing, right? So that screen information is, uh, I mean, those things is taken care by dialog. So if, before it goes to any other work process, dialog take care of the things because you need to, the, you need the screen to process, right? So to schedule a job, you need to get a dialog of the work process first, right? So that, you know, you can enter the data, what, what are the, what is the job name and all everything. So like that, <coughs> this is the architecture of a, an SAP application server. Okay. So this is just a um, overview. I mean, not overview, recap, I will say. Okay, so in today's lecture, what we are going to learn, we're going to learn how, uh, I mean, after installation of the um, SAP system, how the uh, directory structure and all, right? I have shown you in the last lecture, but I'll do a quick recap into that also, the directory structure. So in our uh, example, everything like uh, ASCS, ASCS server, sorry, ASCS, <coughs> and uh, pass, we have a pass, and db are in one box okay because we don't have that much budget and all right this is for personal uh, training so we have everything in one box so whenever you install each type of application server you have a separate kind of uh, uh, directory structure it creates in the operating system so in, in our case it is windows 
okay windows os we used so you um, so our os name is netweaver netweaver okay <coughs> sap netweaver i'll show you how to um, uh, i mean what are the uh, this is a host name okay so um, real quick i'm just gonna log into this uh, let me log into the system first and then I'll, I'll show you okay and for that one i need to go to my <coughs> google cloud and uh, this is this is cloud google cloud compute engine if you if you want to learn about computing in google cloud and all my separate session is going on on that and you can follow that and this is my uh, server and this is a windows server you see it is in us central uh, region and what I'm going to do, I'm going to start. Okay, you can start from here or you can, the, the three icon, I mean three dots, you can do start and resume. Let's start SAP Netweaver, it is asking, so I'll click start. Okay, so it will take few few minutes, not few minutes, I think 30 seconds, it will start. In the meantime, I'll come back. So you see that uh, the server is up and running now, instance is running, so I'll log into the server, uh, server using RDP, remote desktop, okay. But before I log in there, let me tell you, uh, um, real quick I have mentioned it in my previous lecture uh, but again I'll mention so there is always a SAP system always has a uh, system ID right one is system ID which is also called SID okay remember this is this is going to be there with your life entire life if you're in SAP SID okay system ID another is system number okay <coughs> And this should be two, two digits, okay? Two digits. Okay, and, and there is host name you need, okay? Host name. So, <clears throat> every SAP system has a, has a, um, has a system ID. So, so that you know, you'll identify uh, which system you're talking about. In our case, it is ITC, okay? It should be three digit, uh, three di uh, not three digit. It is a digit and uh, alphabetic com combination of three three letters so our in your case itc itc it carrier okay and instance number is this itc is applic i mean the, uh, all the i mean uh, all the application server will be identified as a uh, itc so for this one it will be a db uh, sid okay D database sid and it is the same name as the application uh, applications sid so this application is definitely itc and this is itc okay so every uh, itc every as a type of SAP system, I mean, uh, not type, every SAP system has a name so that you can identify. Now, everything is ITC right here. So, every, you know, um, all the application server has a unique uh, two-digit system number. So, this is suppose 00 and, uh, and this is 01. If you have more dialogue, uh, dialogue work process, I mean, applic additional application server, you can put 020, whatever it is from 00 to 99 whatever number you want to give what during the installation and uh, <coughs> it will be identified as a that number okay so host name in our case sap uh, netweaver <coughs> i mentioned all these things in my previous lecture but i am telling again and again so that you know it will stick to your brain and it will never go away okay so understand this is an actually application server. This is a different application server and this is another database, another server. In our case, we kept everything in one host because we have a budget issue. We do, we cannot afford, right? And this is also, uh, budget means our server is a free server, which I shown you just now. In a Google Cloud, I uh, created that one. Okay, so now let me RDP do this one. So, okay, it has a um, IP, IP, external IP, right? So just copy the external IP and RDP <coughs> remote desktop and you put the uh, external IP which is a public IP and let's see <coughs> how it connects okay so here uh, you see that um, it is asking for credential in this in our case every SAP system I'll say different user every SAP system has a uh, uh, <coughs> user created eight uh, i mean sid adm okay so let me tell you uh, let me log in first and then password whenever you install any sap system okay you have you will have a um, uh, uh, administrator user will be created during installation so see the itc adm so what is that administrator user is <coughs> um, 
that user is automatically created is uh, admin user admin user SAP admin okay <coughs> it is SID ADM all right so in our case what is our SID and our SID is ITC ITC and then ADM okay and the password you will choose for what should be the password during the installation you can change that also okay so ITC ADM I logged into the server and this is our server <coughs> I logged in uh, the server manager opens so I'll close I don't need a um, <coughs> server manager so I'm in the server now so I'll go to the file explorer and I'll go to my PC this PC you will see I have two uh, drives one is C drive and D drive the installation happened in the D drive and the path is user <coughs> and the drive user SAP and then ITC is our SID so the path is <coughs> install path nobody will teach you like this guys okay install path is <coughs> if it is unique then user user and then uh, SAP SAP and SID SID in our case it is ITC and then you have <coughs> pass as in the case of SCS server it will be SCS okay uh, in the case of pass it will be pass okay the pass it will be D and then uh, whatever your uh, instance number okay so let me put instance number like like double hash so I'll so in our case if it is if it is application server our application server it will be user user SAP it said is ITC right and then if it is a pass okay <coughs> and then we have D and instance number is our I think I don't know uh, maybe zero one I think or zero zero let me go yeah it is zero zero D zero zero so I kept D zero zero for pass and if it is ASCS server okay again these are these are up to you whatever you choose during installation these are pro, uh, I mean totally up to this is totally up to you what you choose okay it's up to us what is what should, what should be our SID instance number but once it is uh, uh, what is uh, installed it is it, it cannot be changed okay <clears throat> you can change with different method but it's not easy you know you have to migrate and do the things so in this case ASCS if it is ASCS ASCS and then instance number uh, is, uh, hash hash so zero one I ca I kept while installation and then it would be like this you see that zero one ASCS so in this directory my ASCS got installed and in this directory my primary application server pass is installed you see now if you go on under that you will see different work work directory is a directory and you know where your all logs are available start stop logs are available when, whenever you start an SAP application your these things will be available in the work directory okay if you want to troubleshoot if, if your SAP is not starting then um, SAP now what uh, maybe sometime ASCS is uh, failing it is not starting then you, you go under SAS and then you have a, a work directory there and you will uh, you um, navigate through the logs and all right so and you see what what is error what type of error you'll get it so you I mean click on the mode I mean date modified and see for the latest logs okay latest logs. so suppose um, this is um, uh, dev ms message server uh, old okay this is old because in, uh, so this side uh, without old will be the let me put okay let me search by you see this dev ms right now i don't have any error so i will not get anything but i let me show you how <coughs> open in a not notepad in the case of unix you open in a vi editor if you don't know what is vi editor and all i'll have a session on unix okay linux i'll show you how to navigate through the vi editor and all basic uh, commands of the Unix. So if you open that, this is a message server log, okay? Because ACS has a message server. Remember, I told message server is in the AS server, ACS server. <coughs> so you, if you go there, you'll see how the message server got started, okay? Everything is available in the log. If it, is, if it fails to start, you'll get the thing, you know, error, error, and you know, it will give you the reason, okay? Why it is, why it is stopped, okay? So I don't have any problem right now. It is uh, I mean why this thing shut down? You know uh, okay you may ask me why why it is why it is error and everything shut down 
because message server is is in shutdown mode now i i, I mean everything the icp server is down now i started the application server the host the os in the google cloud but i did not started the sap yet okay so what i, I what i mean by that so <clears throat> i'll show you everything in these things okay in my next lecture next lecture probably i'll show you how to install sap okay and how to install sap there will be four lecture i think i already created the videos and up uploaded so these are this is the mmc and uh, you see that these are these are processes and there are nothing because sap server is down right now i need to i need to start that so <clears throat> let me start that and before that i need to start the database also however um let me not do it right now okay um what i am showing you let me show it so under acs if you want to troubleshoot anything go under a work directory and um you can you can go from there exe is a very important the kernel so what is kernel kernel is nothing but the binaries okay binaries now what are binaries these are the binaries and libraries are used to run the sap i mean any application to run an sap application or any other kind of application you need underlying um kernel right your binaries libraries and so that you know your application will run, run right so these are the binaries and uh, uh, all um libraries which sap system will be running these are executables you can say okay <clears throat> so these are these are the this term is called kernel remember this this will be coming in your enter carrier let me get little bigger okay <clears throat> kernel what is kernel libraries or binaries okay which which is uh, uh, with, uh, with with that yeah, your application is based on and it will be application will be running <clears throat> okay so these are called kernel so you, um, time to time as an administrator you have to upgrade kernel you will be having a task up, uh, kernel upgrade okay kernel upgrade upgrade all right this will be a task for a basis admin okay very important task all right so let me go back to the yeah so exe is nothing but your all kernels available work is nothing but your uh, your all startups and shutdown logs and data is nothing but your uh, i mean this cache data and all this is not important and uh, sometime it is storing your dat files and all and uh, these files are not uh, so important security files and all your all all um, um uh, your uh, uh keys and all okay now let me go to the primary so you see under acs application server these are the directories and what is under um, primary primary application server? almost similar kind of architecture will be there directory structure same uh, primary application server work logs all the work logs if you go to dispatcher so you see you will not find ms here they have ms message server is not in the primary application server you will find dispatcher server okay dispatcher if you double click and open in a notepad you will see all the dispatcher related information right now sap system is down right so you will see that it is down shut down okay shut down mode <clears throat> and you will find lot of um, uh, i mean work process logs also you see that dev work process zero work process so these are the directory structure i'll have with uh, i mean separate lesson on the um, each files and all like data we have kernel here primary application server the kernels okay the other one i was showing you acs kernel all right so this is the architecture of a i mean not architecture direct structure of a um, sap system and there is a sys and a, this is again sys is nothing but unicode and then this is the direct structure where your base uh, kernel i mean the entire sap system kernel is installed okay now um, there there is something called soft link and uh, shared directory you will uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to find uh what are this I'll, I'll i'm going to teach you in my next lecture and uh, as i mentioned next lecture will be a lecture on how to install oracle client and how to install oracle and and then sap application i'll show everything okay so under direct uh, under d we have already seen under usr sap is our application is stored right here our application but <clears throat> under you see that uh, we have oracle uh, where our oracle right, and then uh, sid here is our database is stored so this is a direct database directory structure under sap data one you see the different folders are there 
and i do not go very much detail right now in this is another chapter okay what are these files system c csox and all and <coughs> and other data files so here actually your data is stored in this see the file size are so big you know see they almost 2 gigabyte of file size okay so this is basically your oracle uh, database structure okay here is your archive log uh, it is drastically uh, increasing. I am going to delete these archive logs. What are archive logs and all? We'll talk later. I do not confuse you with that. Okay. And um, last thing is app Oracle. The where is your applications um, client? Oracle client is installed. Okay. Product. And then this is your version 12.1.0. And this is your database home. Okay. Net network admin. And then you see that you have listener and all. I know if you don't know other things, uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to teach you all these things, okay? Oracle as well. However, I, I wanted to show you the directory structure, how it is look like. And after an installation, how they came. Um, this is what I wanted to show you today. With that said, I don't want to show anything. And um, next lecture, probably um, I'll start all the CP installation. Uh, Oracle installation, application installation, and I have the videos ready, and I'm uh, I'm going to upload those things. Thank you so much for watching my video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe the channel and like the videos and share with your friends and family. Thank you. Bye bye.